guys, back again. Episode five of the review journal. Down at Cottingham's with a couple of lads from the old Cindy. It's a little bit of a social. We've got six nights, so I thought I'd bring the cameras as I'm chunk hunting. It's been pretty productive this year, so probably at a blank because the old lenses are here, but that's how it goes, isn't it? Yeah, six nights, Cottingham's, Pepper Lake. We've got the new Half of the Lake books exclusive between six of us. Um, did a draw this morning after a walk round and came out last, so it's law. Ended up in peg 10. Uh, lads are pretty spread out. I've got peg nine to the left empty. It's the only swim free for us, so I've got a load of mixers with me. So if the sun keeps on going away, it's going, and the, uh, it starts to eat up, then they'll definitely be coming out. And yeah, it's a bit of uh, unfinished business for me. It's been a while, but I say last time I come out, Nick to 24, and in a lake filled with the fish and stock sizes that it's got, I can't help but feel a little bit. Um, not like I failed, but a little bit disheartened and felt like I should have done a little bit better. So I've got six nights to put it right this time. It's not fishing overly great, but who knows? I've got the scope X with me, so we all know it does the business. So yeah, just getting in a peg now, just getting set up. Like I say, I'm in no rush, I've got six nights, so just want to be comfortable, get sorted, have a little chill out on the first day. I'm not going to do too much filming today, like I say, I've got six nights. I don't want to turn it into another Grand Canaria special where it's three and a half hours long. So we've got six nights, yeah, six nights, cotton ends. I've got six nights to put it right, I've got six nights. Why? Yeah, we'll see what happens, play it by ear. I've already got a, an idea of what I'm gonna do and where I'm gonna fish. I'm gonna have a little lead around now, see what it feels like. Yeah, we'll go from there. So I'll catch up with you later on. Yeah, time to kick back and uh, do my thing.
with ego then. Persevere with a floater rod. Zig bug chub mixer. Overrides the pellet and slicker floater. Did the business. First fish, 29 pound on a button. It's a bit lively, so I'm gonna get some snaps, get her back, and uh, try up another one. Happy days though, we're off the mark, early doors. It's all good. Well guys, coming in at the first night then, I'll uh, run you through the rigs as always. Um, kind of cutting and people say, cut the handfuls of bait, don't go over the top, don't fill it in, but what can I say, I filled it in. Uh, two kilo on each spot, um, either end of the island, done that at the start of the session, haven't had rods on the spots all day. Um, like I said, I've had a zig out over depth in the channel and I've been playing about on the surface today. Um, but yeah, two kilo on each spot, roughly, roughly. Just off the shelf, it's probably about two foot on the shelf, dropping into about six. So just at the bottom of the shelves. Um, and like I say, yeah, put a bit of bait out. Scope X squid, 15 millers. And it's gonna do the business because it always does the business. Um, that's the confidence I've got in it lately. And I can't, there's nothing else to say really. Um, so yeah, right hand rod, going on a Ronnie rig, as always. Um, you all know how to make them. I ain't gonna teach you how to suck eggs. But business end, 15 mil citrus, pink been doing it for me lately and um, yeah, I think it's about time I need a little top up. Uh, yeah, so that's just on a 20 pound clay combi link, nice short boom, it's crystal clear out there, clay bottom, there's some hard patches, some softer patches, so just try and find in a harder patch to get a donk on. Um, and just your standard Ronnie really, so that's that rod. My left hand rod's already out because I see a fish roll on the spot, so I've already wazzed that one out. That's on my standard blowback rig, 15 mil citrus wafter. So that's the two rigs going into the first night. Hopefully we can um, get into something a little bit bigger because this lake holds some tremendous stocks, tremendous size fish, some absolutely wicked scalies um, and I'd really like to get my hands on a few of them. So I'm hoping within the six nights that we've got we can do it. So yeah, that's how we're going into the first night. I'm going to uh, kick back and chill now because I've been on my toes all day pumping riser pellet and mixers at these fish. and. Um, yeah, after the first one sort of spooked off and they didn't really come back, couldn't really get their confidence back. So we'll have another go first thing in the morning or if I see a few floating about tonight, I'll, uh, I'll get the mixer rod back out. But yeah, that's it. First night, Let's see what happens. Big scan into the first night. Um, left down. Hmm, dip. Well guys, going into the first night then, I'll uh, run you through the rigs as always. Uh, my right hand rod. Why? Two kilo on each rod. Did that right at the start when we started setting up. Oh, dick it, blood. Mm. Kilo, probably max on both spots. Oh my. <laughs> Uh, 
Well, that was a pretty uneventful night then. Didn't have a single beep on either rod. Haven't seen much at all this morning either in way of uh, cruising fish or anything like that. But I've just mixed up another batch of mixer and riser. Uh, that's soaking now in some slicker oil. I'm gonna reel in my right hand rod, which is on the deck off the shelf. I've just changed my left hand rod over to a zig, about five and a half foot, just under the surface, cut the inches down. So I've wagged that out in front of the island. I'm gonna reel in the right hand rod. I'm gonna go and see if we can get them back up on the top. Today's the last day of um, sort of higher 20s temperature wise and then we're meant to have a storm coming in and some pretty bad weather so with a bit of luck it switches it on bottom feeding wise. I'm going to make the most of today with the weather that we've got, see if we can get them back up and see if we can hopefully nick another one on top. This time on film, spent all day yesterday with a GoPro strapped to my head, went through four batteries just as the last one died, sod's law, put the rod down and it rattles off. Them the brakes, but we'll see if we can get one on, on field today for you. Hopefully we'll get back up and feeding again. I'm just waiting for the ducks to do one. They're an absolute pain in the backside. Yeah, that's the plan of action for today. We'll see how it goes, see if we can get into something. No one else around the lake's had anything either, so it's not feeling too great at the minute. Who knows? We know they can't resist the riser pellet, that's for sure. Well, that's another uneventful day for me then. I've um, tried most things today, zigs and uh, a bit of surface fishing, and it's just not happened, I'm afraid. Too hot, and uh, yeah, humidity through the roof, pressure through the roof, and they, they just weren't having it. The ducks absolutely smashed me to bits today, and um, yeah, there was nothing I could do about it. One or two times I did get them up, matey and eight decided to chuck a controller float across the uh, channel and straight onto the feeding fish, which kind of killed it, but is what it is, a day ticket and we'll just get on with it. So yeah, I can't say that I uh, didn't give it me all today. I tried. Tried again. Put more bait out. Recarve. Tried again. And tried again. And I kept trying, but just nothing, nothing would happen. And uh, couldn't get it to click. But coming into the evening now, Barbie's on the go. Al's cooking up some lovely grubs, so I'm gonna get down there, cut the beers, enjoy the night. Put the rods out tonight. Got a bit of a storm coming in, a bit of low pressure, so hopefully it kicks off the fishing on the bottom. And um, yeah, these fish start to feed down at this end because other than the couple of cruises that I've seen today, which has been a lot less than yesterday, there's uh, not really been much to go on. So stay tuned and um, yeah, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Well, just as the rain started, left hand rod went off, close to the island, as tight as I could get it. 20 pound on the button, I'm just over. White citrus wafter did the business. Again, very lively. So, quick cut of snaps, get her back. Rod's already out on the money. Let's see if we can get another one. Well, weather took a bit of a turn last night. Didn't so much have the thunderstorm that was promised, but we had some heavy rain, that's for sure but it's definitely helped out. Like I say, the fish you see last night from me, the uh, 20 pound 12 common. Um, I think Jay next door to me lost one at about three o'clock this morning. 
Dow round in 16. He had a 20 pound four mirror this morning. I was around there doing the photos for him. Um, absolutely wicked fish. Uh, I think he took it from midwater. As we was doing the photos, Sands Roddy in 15 ripped off. Unfortunately, he got cut off on that. On what, I don't know, but it was a clean cut midwater. Yeah, but it's definitely spurred the fish on. I've had another couple of liners this morning. I've had one show to the left of the island, but I haven't got a rod there yet. It's where I put the bait. Uh, the fish I had last night was from the centre of the island. And I've also had a bream. Um, so, either way, sun doing the off and this uh, low, low pressure front coming in has definitely helped us. So, yeah, I'm just uh, chilling in a bivvy. Can't really get out and do much filming because it's a bit wet out there. Yeah, we'll uh, see what happens today. The wind's sort of coming at me though, so it's a little bit tricky with the filming. I might be restricted to the old GoPro, but we'll see what we can do. Hopefully, there'll be a few more fish and I'll get my hands on one of these cotton and scalies.
Well, as you can see, I'm in another swim. Don't know, just had a little gut feeling today. Fancy the look of nine. Give me a better angle on the island. I could still fish the spot that I had the fish off on the front of the island from here, but it gives me a better island to get on the corner and maybe into a little bit of the Bailey's water. Plus, the amount of fish when I do manage to keep the biscuit out in the water for longer than 10 minutes that seem to come out of this margin um, on the left hand side of peg nine and just start mashing the mixer. It's got to be holding fish. So I'm uh, baiting a couple spots along now. I ain't gonna put a rod on it tonight, but I'll, I'm going to give it a while, stick a rod on there, probably tomorrow night maybe, we'll see what happens, but I've got a better view of the lake from nine, I'm looking down it, I can have the front off of the Titan as well because the wind's going behind me this way, so front off, don't matter if it rains, I can see most of the lake bar behind the island I was fishing, so yeah, it's sort of a win-win for me and I can pretty much fish the old water I was fishing. And I spent most of my time down in nine float fishing through the days anyway. So it's um, a little bit of a change of scenery. We'll just see how it goes. I think Sam has managed to nick one now and Andy as well down in 12. So everyone's had a fish, uh, no monsters. I think the biggest so far has been the 29 I had off the top on the first day. We'll see what happens. We've got a bit of time. So I'm gonna get the kettle on now and then uh, get some dinner going. Both rods are out in a minute. One on the old spot and one just tucked around that corner a little bit more.
well, as you just see, off the surface, I've got a new PB. 37 pound on the button. Cotton and scaly, that's what we come for. Absolutely made up, nailed on a six foot side off as well, geez. As if, tiny little 12 mil candy nut pop up. I'll do some photos, get her back, and uh, go again. What a cheese. That's what you come to Cottingham for. Wicked scaling mirrors like that. Wicked. This big fish Thursday malarkey was a bit of a letdown. Got all excited last night. Nice carp, you missed coming off the lake, temperature dropped, went flat calm, looked bang on, and um, yeah, nothing. A uh, couple of liners and that was about it. But I thought I'd just take five minutes, I'll run you through the, uh, the method I'm using to sort of allow me to do my surface fishing and, and deter this bird life. It's been an absolute pain. I don't advise it on some scenarios, but other scenarios you can get away with it. I've rigged up my third rod, put a lead on it, got my distance, and um, opposite me is a bailiff's peg. It's been empty all week. That's about it really, no one's fishing it obviously because it's a bailiff's peg. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm waiting for all the ducks to get into the new half of the lake, chucking my rod over, landing it on the peg, and leaving a tight line across the top of the surface. Um, when the ducks swim into the area, all you do is just pick the tip up on the third rod, lift the line off the water, spokes them, and they, uh, they jog on, they don't like it. Bit of a washing line trick. I think the uh, shooters use it as well when they're trying to scare ducks off of a lake to shoot. But uh, yeah, in this scenario I can get away with it. It seems to be working and yesterday was the first time I managed to do a little bit of surface fishing without getting mullered by ducks. And well, you see what happened, we need the 37. So I've got to rod back over there now. I'm gonna um, give it a go and uh, see if we can get another one or two off the top of the day.
but that didn't take long did it? 10 minutes flat fishing, first one of the day, probably one of the smallest in the lake. I don't care because I'm fishing, I'm catching fish and I'm enjoying myself. I'm going to slip this one back, go again. Very nice. Well, that's coming into the last 24 hours then. Another disappointing night for me. Again, looked bang on, did everything right, um, but just don't know what's happening really. Uh, on the deck of a night, it seems to um, go dead for me. Everyone else seems to catch. Jay's had another 35 and another two fish last night, and he's had a couple. Um, but yeah, down here it seems to be um, pretty sparse with the fish. I think they're sort of shooting up in the 15 and working their way around the 14, 12, and 11, and then back into 15. Again, just constant all night liners, like big liners as well, pulling the optics right up to the rod and then dropping back down literally every other hour. Um, so I think that's obviously where I'm fishing a swim, that's a channel, the fish are sort of pushing through. Um, so today I'm gonna tie up a couple of zigs um, and I'm gonna ping the zigs about all day because I don't seem to be doing much on the bottom on baited spots. It's looking a little bit moody but I'm going to get the mixer out again because that seems to be the only way that I can get fishing to swim and, and sort of have a chance of a bite so it's a plan of action today. Um, I'm going to uh, have a quick cup of tea, get the zigs tied, get the rods out and then um, yeah, we'll get to work. Well guys, unfortunately I've had a phone call from home and I've got to cut the session short. There's a few bits I've got to sort out and uh, that takes priority for me. So yeah, just chuck this lot in the van and I'll be on my toes. Um, today was pretty poor for me. Chucked a couple of zigs about, but other than that, try getting the mixer out, but the ducks mullered me again. So yeah, that was the end of that for me, I'm afraid. So if you come in here, be warned, the ducks are a proper nuisance. Um, but yeah, overall, four fish on film, broke the filming ducks. Don't think it's been, uh, well, it must have been before October last year, I think, two or three films in now that I ain't caught fish, so I'm happy that I've done that for you. New PB as well, surface PB and overall mirror, so again, the roll continues, and um, yeah, hopefully I can take a bit of the form into autumn slash winter, and um, yeah, it's my favourite time of year, so let's see if we can capitalise on it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, session five of the review journal, see you on the next one.